Hey guys, it's Kaj again, and this is part two of making Korean rice wine called makgeolli. So if you haven't seen part one, head on over to the previous video and click the like button while you're at it. All right, let's begin. Incorporate both the rice and the nuruk as carefully as you can, ensuring you keep the rice as whole as possible, as this provides more surface area for the nuruk to inoculate. And once done, place in a clean glass vessel, cover with a dishcloth, and place in a dark cupboard. And now we wait. Check every day for the first three days and gently mix, then leave it alone for about a week. Check in once in a while and you should see it actively bubbling and then slowing down. This is when I typically harvest into a bottle so I can allow it to ferment further in the fridge and carbonate slightly. Note that the longer you let it ferment, the more astringent it becomes, having a more sour taste. Once cooled, the sediments should settle at the bottom, so feel free to shake it up or <laughs> wow. leave it as is to enjoy with friends and family. Go Go ahead. Ahead. Enjoy, guys!